People were drawn to Pensacola Beach this weekend to take advantage of some special low prices. To find the correct tire pressure for your car, look inside the driver's door at the information posted on the inside frame. But it's not just about the beautiful beach setting and the great food. From live music to car shows, there's a lot more going on this week on Pensacola Beach. Your smile is a great way to make a lasting first impression. In almost every mall, you'll find that generic store that sells leather jackets and accessories. Celebrating its 30-year history, Islander Surf Shop offers all your essential beach gear, from surfboards to flip-flops. For a little fun after the sun, come on into Howl at the Moon for dueling pianos. And that brings us to one of the great things about Emerald Grand. Pensacola is one of the most beautiful places to live, and people from all over the world come to live here. So for that reason, there's no better place to shop for the person that has made Pensacola their adoptive home than Four Winds International Food Market. As the holiday season quickly approaches, it's time to start getting ready for family get-togethers and start thinking about food. That's where Four Winds International Food Market comes in. Emerald Coast Coins is one of the area's leading coin shops and a great place to find a unique Christmas gift. And on top of that, they might even be able to put a little cash in your pockets during the holidays. It all started the way most great businesses begin, with an owner who followed his passion. The Pensacola payroll fiasco could finally be coming to an end. Some businesses able to cash in on their paychecks. For businesses like Direct Service Express, it hasn't slowed them down, but they admit it's a problem they weren't prepared for. Yeah, we deliver for UPS, you look Packard. It gives a, the business a black eye. And we were very concerned about uh, getting the money back for the employees that did their checks did not clear. David Chadwell's Direct Express has been in business six years. He was just one of the companies that fell victim to AES. Payday came and checks bounced. When, when somebody basically locks their door and won't talk to you or give you any explanation, you think that the money's not there, everything's gone. So he dipped into his own pockets to pay his employees. And after a stressful two weeks, he finally got some good news. Well, I got a call around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon from one of the employees at AES saying, that uh, they wanted to take care of the employees who, whose checks were good. Still no explanation from owner Donald Moore as to why this all happened in the first place. It's definitely not right. Uh, I don't know what, what he got caught up in or what happened. Now after four years of using AES for their payroll service, the business is making a major change. Every employee's paycheck will now be cut in-house. I mean, it's very convenient and very easy, but then you, you know, if something goes wrong, you don't have control over it. So we're taking control. They say business is moving along just fine, but they admit they learned some important lessons. However, they don't have any hard feelings toward AES. They just hope the problem never happens again. Reporting in Escambia County, Marilyn Letty, Channel 3 News. More than a dozen local vendors served up their specialties and the crowds came biting. That's a welcome sign to beach businesses whose profits have been on a decline since the oil spill. It's been different summer, that's for sure. It's our first year here, so we're trying to branch out and see more things and do more things out on the beach to get more people, more locals in. In the spirit of bringing an extra boost to the local economy. So making it a trip. That's right, that's right. Butch Rogers and his wife booked a weekend stay at the new Margaritaville Hotel. We're supporting our beach. We need that's it. what we're here for. <laughs> Others decided to take a staycation as well. This has been really beautiful and everybody's been just really nice. Up. And the festivities aren't just about the great food. And car lovers can even get a taste of the beach. There's a People's Choice Award for the favorite hot rod. $5 and under meals, live music, and Pensacola Beach as the backdrop. The taste of the beach and the sweet taste of success. On Pensacola Beach, Marilyn Letty, Channel 3 News. Traffic Watch, brought to you by Anderson Subaru. Your adventure begins here. Good morning. I'm Marilyn Letty. I hope your morning is off to a great start. We're going to take a look at I-110 North and southbound lanes. Things are picking up a little bit as it gets closer to time to clock in at work. There is an accident to tell you about on East 9 Mile and Copter Road. Bullard Highway Patrol tells me it's only one car involved, but traffic there is down to one lane, so it's going to slow you down a little bit. Take Davis Highway if you can this morning. Follow me, Marilyn TV3, for updates at Twitter on the go, so I will tell you about anything that might slow you down for your day. 
Good morning. We're off to a busy start out on the roads this morning. There's an accident on I-10 eastbound at the Highway 90 exit near Cantonment. Be careful going through that area. Also, some road construction that's probably going to slow you down this morning if you're traveling Avalon Boulevard. It's going to be going on for about a week there, so be careful going through that area. For updates on the go, I'm on Twitter all day long, Maryland TV 3. Follow me so you know what to look out for on the roads. Have a great day. Traffic Watch, brought to you by Anderson Subaru. Your adventure begins here. Good morning, everyone. I'm Marilyn Letty. I hope your morning is off to a great start. Things on the roads are looking good. Look at that totally clear on I-110 north and southbound lanes. This is a view from our city cam right by the Pensacola Civic Center. That's the same story if you're headed through Pace and Milton using Highway 90. Good morning, I'm Marilyn Letty. Happy Friday to you. I hope you're having a great start to your day. We had some fog causing some very low visibility earlier on the roads, but as you can see, conditions are very clear now this morning. This is a look at 110 north and southbound lanes. Florida Highway Patrol also tells me they have cleared up that accident at the intersection of North Cross and Davis Highway. For updates on the go, follow me, Marilyn TV3 at twitter.com. I'll be back in five minutes. I have an update on a construction project that could slow you down this morning. Good morning. We're looking live right now from our Sacred Heart WeatherNet cam. This is 9th Avenue. Very light conditions out there. The same being reported for Airport Boulevard and Bayou Boulevard. Things are looking great on the roads this morning. But if you're heading through Destin, you're going to run into some congestion around Highway 98 at the intersection of Harbor Boulevard. They're doing some lane construction there. So it is down to one lane. Good morning. I'm Marilyn Letty. I hope your morning is off to a great start. If you're about to head out the door, good news. Things are looking clear across Pensacola. There's a view of 9th Avenue from our Sacred Heart WeatherNet cam. But there is construction going on on East Chemstrand and 10 Mile Road. Here's some video of it. You've got to be careful around there as those lanes can be a little tricky. There's the cones posted out there. You'll see them. Now, that's going to be going on for a few weeks, so be careful going through that area. Watch out for the construction workers. You can follow me for updates on the go. I'll be tweeting any of those. Go to twitter.com, MarylandTV3. Car accidents, road closures, anything that might slow you down, I'll let you know about it. Now, when we come back, we'll take another look live across downtown Pensacola.